Okay, so I came to Tingley Lake, or Tingley Beach, I think it's called. Never been here before. Didn't know anything about it. I knew they'd been catching cats and bass out of here this time of year. Um, I really didn't know what to use. I tried for bass at first. I saw, I saw some fish on beds, but they were, I think they were bluegill. He's going after it. I can't tell if these are some kind of cichlid or bluegill or small bass, but they're on beds and they're not liking my bait. I think there were some bass in there, but they were little ones, little tiny ones. So I gave up on those, it was just so hot. And I went to the uh, hot dogs. So I'm gonna go tomorrow and buy some more hot dogs. I don't really need to because I have a lot, but I bought the cheap chicken ones and they keep coming off the hook. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go back to the beef ones. I've used them before, you know, if it means catching more fish, it's worth it. But I had to figure out what was going on with these guys because uh, they didn't make it easy for me. Uh, they were biting so softly. Well, we'll leave that there for a minute and see what happens. I'll turn it off for a minute. I I couldn't hardly tell if they were even on there. I was just leaving my line loose and watching my line move, which is how I knew. But I mean, I, they were barely moving it, like to the point where I wasn't even sure if it was the wind or something else. Just checking in. So far, nothing. I uh, had one nibble, but I think it was a bluegill. Which uh, there's a lot of moss here. So I have resorted to a bobber with a worm. Try to keep it up out of the moth. And we'll see what happens. All right, so I just got bit again. Um, I got my bait stolen that time. I didn't even get to set the hook. Just took my bait. I'm using hot dogs right now, so I'm trying to catch catfish. I am seeing turtles, so I'm not 100% sure it's not a turtle. It's been messing with me out there, but I do see one poking his head up right now, so I know he's not on the bottom eating my bait, at least not that one. Anyway, we'll see. Anyway, I learned that because they kept taking my bait, uh, that I think what they were doing is they were, um, They were pulling the bait so softly that they kept feeling my weight. So I had an Alabama rig on, so you know the the bait might have been a little loose from where the from where the weight was. I just had one split shot on, but I, they were pulling it so softly. I think they were feeling that split shot. Anyway, they were stealing my bait. So I thought, okay. I'm just taking the weight off. I'm just going to go with the hook and the hot dog. That's it. So I had to be careful how I cast it out there so the hot dog wouldn't come off. But that was the trick. I don't know. I can't tell for sure. My line was tightening up. There's not much of... There's really no current here, so I can't imagine it would have been that. There's a tiny, tiny bit of wind. I don't think that would have been it either. So, I mean, there's nothing taking it like real hard, but it's been really hot out too. So who knows if they even want to hit or not, but there's catfish in here. See, it's tightening up again. So it's touching the water right where that moss is. See that? 
hard to say. I'll just have to keep watching it and see what happens. Could be a catfish sucking on it, we'll see. Okay, so I was getting bit. Um, I set the hook. I'm gonna guess it was a catfish. Um, but it got caught on something on the bottom. I couldn't get it untangled. Ultimately, my hook busted off. So, it was pulling back though. I know, I know for a fact I got hit. I was using a hot dog with my little potion on it. Ask me if you want to know the potion. And so I tied back on another hook and just now cast it back in. We're gonna see what happens. And um, I caught the next the next one uh, that that took my bait. Maybe they thought maybe they were feeling for the weight and didn't feel it, and that's how I caught them. I don't know. I wasn't sure though if it was a turtle or not, or if it was a catfish. So now I know it's catfish. I got video of it so I'll put it in here but um, today's Monday it's my first day in it's my first day in uh, Albuquerque for work I had to wait till after four o'clock before I could go and it was just blazing hot it was 108 my, my car said it was 108 out so uh, I don't know if it was 108 I, th I think it probably was and anyway, there was nowhere to stand in the uh, there was nowhere to stand to get out of the to get out of the sun. But I grinned and bared it until the sun went down, and that's when I caught that catfish. I don't know if I'll come tomorrow. Probably, I don't think I'll be able to come Wednesday, but I might come tomorrow night and do it again. Now that I know more what I'm doing, maybe I can catch a few more than just one. But I'm just glad to have gotten one tonight. For a while there, I thought I was going to go home skunked. I hate when that happens. So at least I didn't get skunked. I got a fish. Anyway, see you.